everyone. I know my lighting is awful and I'm wearing a hat, <coughs> which is making it even worse, but my hair looks bad, so yeah. Today we're gonna go look in my Bible bag. Now usually I use used this bag, which is store-bought, and it's reflective, and then this one I made. So, I like this one. This one has, um, it has, we'll do both. Um, we'll do this one first. This one is my at-home bag. It's kind of just to keep everything in one place. Um, elbow the wall. Um, inside is flower petals from Christmas. Anyway, it's just my ESV Bible. Um, this one is a huge illustrated Bible, and so it's really, really, really heavy, and so I didn't like lugging it around everywhere, so I have a second Bible, which is also an ESV. I really, I like NASB and ESV, because, um, my youth pastor uses an e N a NASB, and then my regular, pa the regular pastor at church uses an ESV, so I like both of those. Um, so I have bending flower petals um so i have two bibles because because i keep getting gifted them so um then this has a pocket in this pocket there are the markers that i use for if i can get them out the super tip markers that i keep separate because i use them in my bible journal which is in here the blue the blue journal from the journaling videos if you don't know what i'm talking about Go watch the my Bible journal videos, and you'll know that it's this book. Then I also have, I'm going to get it out, I'm going to actually get it out so you can see it. Um, I have the Bible study that I'm doing by myself, independently. Um, this book I was given for my birthday, I want to say like three years ago, and I started it, and I didn't finish it because I have eight thousand devotional books this is a study on first and second thessalonians thessalonians i can't talk 14 girls it's called faithful one by amy joe oh i'm gonna butcher it gerardier g-i-r-a-r-d-i-e-r -R -E -R. it's from lifeway um really good um it has you don't even i recommend getting a bible because i like a physical bible but you don't even need a Bible to use it because it has the scripture that it's going to go over for the week in the book so you can go and write in it and underline and circle and highlight all you want and it's not in your actual Bible. Now I'm not going to take the time to put this back in here because it's going to take me five years. We're going to set this to side now. I'm going to flip the camera and show you the other book. Please hold. Okay so here is the bag itself that I made. I'll go ahead and show you. Let me show you the other bag as well. Um, it's just really shiny and um, it has, goodness, it has a, um, it has a bookmark in it and a place to hold a pen. So that's pretty much the extent of this bag. Um, this bag was bought probably at Walmart. I have no idea. Actually, probably not Walmart. Um, probably Lifeway or something, but it's just a standard Bible bag. Um, and this one is one that I made. So it is not standard, and I could probably not remake it if you asked me to. So, um, this is this pouch here. I'm going to jump in because I'm not good at doing things. And I don't know what you can see, so we're just going to wing this. Okay. So in this pocket, I have an ink pen. My heater turned on, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder. Um, I have this ink pen, I have some highlighters, I'm going to put some pencils in here, but uh, this bag is, I just finished this, like, literally today, so I don't have everything in it that I want to have in it, but basic gist. Um, I did mess up, and, and so in this side, and I, and this is the side that's open, but the opening is on this side, so I did mess that up, but honestly, it doesn't really matter, because it's, it's deep enough that they're not just going to slide out because it's crochet. Then, in the inside of the bag, we'll start with this little insert that I made. Um, I made this insert with the same white, basically the same pattern as I did on the outside. I did, um, I think these are half double crochets, and then a double crochet skip variation type thing that I kind of created, 
And then this is, again, the ha the double crochet variation type thing. In this, I have um, stuff from extra, like, event or trips that we went on. Like, this is from a fall retreat. This is a map. I'm not going to show you because it has some signatures of um, people that were on, on the trip. This is a, uh, a scavenger hunt list thing. I have a Bible study. Uh, basic like uh, small group overview thing that we try to follow that we got when we first started doing small groups I don't remember exactly what this is oh this is the list of an event we went to was mission based stuff and there was a lot of families so I wrote down all the last names so I could remember to pray for them um, and a couple websites that they that they lead to this is a key for the highlighters I used or used to use because I only have two out of there was a lot of highlighters in the pack. There was only like two left. Um, this is papers from, I don't remember exactly which one it was. It was an event of some kind that we did. Um, and it was just uh, the handout thing. This is a book from Dinell, actually, from a couple years ago. And I kept it because I only used like, I don't know. 10 sheets for the weekend, the first weekend of D-Now, and so I had it in the other bag that I used, and, um, and when we went to D-Now again this year, I needed a notebook, and so I used this. Uh, I also have this book in here, um, Praying the Bible by Donald S. Whitney. Um, John Whitney also did a book about the same guy, Donald. Uh, John Whitney, he also did a book, um, on spiritual disciplines that we did, a study on in youth group that was really really good I would recommend that book as well I don't remember exactly what it's called um, I don't remember if it's 12 or 15 but it's spiritual disciplines um, just look up his name and you'll probably be able to find it then I have a bunch of bulletins like a bunch of bulletins that's seven there um, and so this is just like extra papers and stuff that kind of just I wanted to keep in my Bible bag with me but um, I wanted to keep kind of separate, so I'm going to set that to the side. Then I have my Sunday school, or Sunday school, um, Bible study book. This is Everyday Theology for Teens, What You Believe Matters by Mary Wiley, or I think it's Wiley. That's how you would say that, right? I don't know. We, it's actually, so it's a nine session, so that's like nine weeks, but we do, instead of, because there's five days a week in the, let me do one we haven't done yet, um, because there's five five days each um, section we only do one day each Sunday so it's gonna it's taking us a lot longer we've been doing this for almost six months um, it's a very it's a very good book um, this is a journal that I, I just got because the other one I just filled up let me find where did I put that um, I I'm a doodler I'm an artistic type person I'm not good at art but I like doing it and this one has um, sketches it has notes it has quotes it has random everything a lot of questions a lot of answers a lot of notes um a lot of definitions to words i didn't know um i need to get me a good small one like this but this one's just from the dollar tree to hold me over until i can go to walmart and get me a good one uh, because we never go to walmart because mom hates it anyway so notebook that's because i'm a notes taking person then this is my Bible that I use to take places. It doesn't look all that smaller than the other one, but it is lighter for some reason. I don't even know. I don't know exactly why. I did both my Bibles have tabs on them that I put on there myself individually because um, I didn't want tabs for every book of Bible. Like I have one for Esther, one for the New Testament, one for because um, there's devotional like index in the back. I have one for the table of contents and there's memory verses. Um, I have one for Proverbs and Haggai, um, so I kind of just pick and choose specific ones that I want, and then I have, um, bulletins from church in here that I wrote notes on that I wanted to keep, I wanted to keep with the, because I took notes all over the front of this one, and I, I didn't have this book yet, and this book was full, so I didn't have anything to take notes on, so I took notes on the on the bulletins and stuck them with the stuff. So like this one was from we did Daniel and I wrote notes on the inside. 
Anyways, but this this Bible is uh, my creative Bible. It's It actually has my name on it down here, but you can't tell because it's just blinding and sparkly. It has stuff that you're supposed to color, and I've had this for so, so long. And so it's very, very messy, but it's okay. Um, this is an ESV, so is the other one. I think I already said that. I don't remember what I've said and what I haven't because I filmed this twice. Um, unrelated, but it has spaces for notes or devotions um and then it has i'll go over here it has um like character profiles on the women in the bible so this one's delilah it has what the name means where they lived and what their life teaches us and then just a, a basic overview of the character um character the person this is history um and then it has things that you color which i recommend using either really really carefully using crayons or pencils or very specific markers because so much bleeds through um, Bible pages so it also has yeah so it has the index of all of the the verses that it has illustrated and then it has an index for all the devotions and an index for the character profiles so I like this Bible I've had it for a while it's a good for children basically and as as I've grown, I like the other Bible that I the other Bible that I have more, but this is good for just like on the go. It's light, it's easy to read because it's an ESV, etc. There we go. Now I have this pocket on this side because I wanted to make sure that if I was at camp, because I, I when I think about these things, I, I think about camps a lot. I don't know exactly why, but uh, when I'm at camp, because I'm the mom friend, I have my backpack with my Mary Poppins bag with everything I could possibly need in it and so when I'm doing when we go to worship I oftentimes don't have what I want because I don't have my backpack with me so I oftentimes I want a mint or I need a hair tie or someone always needs a band-aid and I also have a cleaning pad for that um and then a chapstick because I always need chapstick when I'm with there and then I also have a pad for emergencies I'm also going to put um uh, extra pens in this if they don't fit because um, I like to keep like a ridiculous amount of pens with me because someone always asks me for a pen and then I don't get that pen back so I want to keep a lot of pens with me so they probably won't fit in here so I'm going to keep all the extra stuff here and that's basically the extent I also have this thing that I kind of made to keep it closed you kind of saw me open it before um so this is that's the basic what I keep in my bible bag now, I also, um, if you want to make, if you want to have a Bible bag and want to keep a Bible bag, it's very tailored to you. Like, are you a notes taker? If you do, excuse me, if you do take notes, then you would want a good journal and you would want good pens for that. If you don't want to take notes, then that's fine. You don't have to have as much, so you just bring your Bible. I know people that literally only bring their Bible and their phone, and that's it. That's all they bring to church, because they don't need keys or money or anything else. So literally, like, some of the girls in youth group literally just bring their phone and their Bible, and some don't even bring their Bible. They just bring their phone to use as their Bible, but I don't recommend that. Anyways, so you don't need a huge Bible bag like this, but that I, this is just what I do. I always have something with me. I'm always carrying 8,000 items and yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can because I gotta get ready to go, but um, yeah, Bible bags are super, super easy to, to do to whatever you want. You don't have to have five pockets in it. You can have one pocket in it that you shove everything in like me. Like it doesn't really matter all that much. It's super, super tailored to whatever you want. Um, I. I just made this, so there's stuff that's missing, and I can tell you right now that I'm going to be putting probably a stress ball in there. I'm going to probably put gum instead of mints, because I prefer gum, even though I have braces. Don't tell my orthodontist I said that. You know, like, it's super, 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 like, individual and tailored to you. It doesn't really matter. Um, thank you for watching. You can like, you can subscribe, you can comment. That would help me out. I don't really care, though. So, whatever you want. Um, my nose is so itchy with it. Um... I'm going to try to start making more actual content for you guys because I haven't been on my phone a lot recently and because of that I haven't been scrolling 
a lot recently, and because of that, I haven't been filming a lot recently, because I don't know what the trends are, and I don't know the videos and the, the sounds and stuff, so, like, I have no idea. I have one video scheduled, I think, for tomorrow, and that's it. So, thank you for watching. I'm gonna try to give you guys content. If not, who, who knows? There'll, there will be stuff eventually, so thank you for watching. Jesus love you. Have a great day.